Happy Thursday. I am running to the store real quick, quick. I went to go make Sally a sandwich for lunch and I didn't have any bread. <laughs> Oops. Didn't even realize I didn't have bread. Oh, so, gotta get that. Oh, I don't get paid, paid until tomorrow. So, needless to say, my pockets are full of change. My hair is a hot mess today. I can't wait to get it cut. I just don't know what to cut, how to cut it. I am not good about going back to the hairdresser. And I don't even have one anymore because my hairdresser moved to Florida like two years ago. So I've been trimming my own hair or my daughter's been trimming it. Oh well. I don't know. I just like easy. So I can just brush it and put it up. I don't even like wearing my hair down because it's annoying and it's in my way. Yeah, I know, it's weird. Why have long hair if I always have it up? Uh, I don't know, I just do. I don't want short hair because then I have to like do it every day. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't, I hate hair, I hate, blow drying my hair first of all that's just annoying time consuming I mean I have a lot of time but I don't know all right let me run in there and I'll be back why is it when you go shopping you always find stuff that you want when you only have enough money to buy a certain thing well quite proud of myself <laughs> not a good time to go to the store when you're hungry number one number two well I didn't have enough money anyway but what is this person doing it's very hard for me to look back up because my neck hurts um Yes, don't go shopping when you're hungry. And I was very proud of myself. I only brought, bought the bread. I couldn't believe the amount of, of goodies that are out already. Like, all the Halloween candy is out. And I walked right by it, and I'm like smelling it like I was a hound dog or something. Oh my God. And all the, you know, I have to walk by the bakery, of course, to get to the bread. Today's date is September 3rd. The word for today is rid. Advertisements bon bombard us on how to get rid of pimples, wrinkles, saggy eyes, fat bellies, and of course, weight, while they never teach us how to reverse disease, only how to manage it for the rest of our lives on medication. What I really want to talk about is the necessity for us to get rid of the idea of going on a diet. Yes, it is a common word in our vocabulary and does define a plan of eating, even when it describes a healthy eating pattern. It is interesting that the book I followed does not use the word diet in the title, the McDougal Program for Maximum Weight Loss. Often a diet is viewed as something we do for a given period of time to get certain results. But what happens when that time expires and we do get all that was promised to us? I can tell you, we have this false sensation or belief that we have arrived. We have reached our goal, we are successful, wow. But then, I can attest to having done this dozens of times, we feel the relief of having achieved our goals and go back to our old eating habits. 
So what is the answer? I have come to believe that education is the beginning. When we learn about how we are causing disease in our bodies by what we eat, we are then in a better position to make an intelligent choice. Yes, it is pretty radical to give up animal and dairy products, and then we learn that processed oil has no legitimate place in our lives. We are often shocked. How could that be? Don't take my for word for it. Test it for yourself. Be your own lab. Try getting rid of the toxic food for one week and see how your body responds. It's miraculous. Mm -hmm.